Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Professor Ash Mumawire. I am the lead researcher in, at the Northwest University Solar Thermal Energy Group under the Physics uh, Department. Today we are demonstrating a solar cooker. Well, we do a lot of research with solar cookers. So basically today what you see here is a parabolic dish that is used to concentrate solar radiation onto a pot and to cook food. We are having problems with ESCOM related issues. So this could be an alternative way to cook food instead of using electrical energy. So basically today with me, I've got uh, two of my students, Prince Ousi and Katle Kolenswe. They're going to demonstrate everything for me. But basically what happens, this is a dish, like a magnifying glass, which actually um, enhances the radiation onto a focal region so that we can cook food. You can actually move it around. Here, as you can see, you don't have any sun there. As we move it around, we can actually uh, focus the radiation and we can track the sun here. So we, we can actually cook food. So today we are cooking some for us inside here. And uh, as you can see here, we have already started cooking and the temperature is, is, is quite hot there. Kateko, can you move that? It's about 94 degrees already and our food uh, is being cooked. Prince can turn the food around. Most probably we'll uh, have a closer view where you can actually show what, what is happening. So essentially this is an alternative way of cooking food using the sun but it also has problems if there are clouds or so it doesn't work. But uh, for the normal people who want to have an alternative means of cooking because electricity is getting very high you can use this parabolic dish cooker and this dish can last up to 10 years. Sometimes there are scratches here and there but you can actually replace the reflectors and cook food. So basically we do research on different type of, of cookers so that is what we have uh, our parabolic dish and uh, we, are, we are cooking food with it today. The sun is very nice and shiny today so we are concentrating the thing there. Prince you can actually um, see what is happening there and uh, with, uh, with, with what is there, we close it again, then we track it a little bit. So again, this thing is controlled. If you do not want too much sun, like you're burning the sun, you can actually adjust the tracking mechanism, yes. then reduce the amount of heat, which is more or less the same as a what? As a normal electrical stove that we use. But the advantage, it's free energy free of charge, free from the sun. And everybody, especially in the disadvantaged communities, decentralized communities, could actually start adopting using solar cooking because it's free of charge. You do not have any bills, electricity bills uh, from people. And the good thing to note about these solar cookers, uh, usually we use black pots. Why we're using a black pot is because we absorb more energy when it's black. I mean, you could also use the silver pot, aluminium, they all work, but the black pot uh, results in uh, a faster cooking rate because you're absorbing energy faster because of the black surface, is it? The blacker you are, uh, the, the, the more you absorb energy. Um, so uh, that's, what we do. that's what we have. It. So this solar cooker can cook different types of foods. It can cook uh, the pulp. Uh, the, the milli meal, uh, what you have, it can cook rice, it can do all sorts of things. There are different type of uh, so solar cookers that you have, but this is the most efficient. One thing when people should realize is they should wear protective glasses because I mean the sun ray is going to damage your eyes in the, in the, in the long way. So you have to have sunglasses so that you can do the tracking properly of this. So every time the sun moves around, the angle changes so you can move it around here now you're no longer focused you move it around here you're focused then you look at the bottom there to check whether the hot spot is still at the center this central region where we have maximum solar radiation we call it the hot spot or the focal region or some of researchers call it the focal point it's actually the point where this whole radiation is concentrated. One thing which is good about this thing, if you want faster cooking speed, you actually make it larger. So the larger area you have, the more energy you can 
cook your food, is it? The more blacker the pot is, the more you can absorb solar radiation. So to improve the performance, you have all this. So in this lab, besides testing solar cookers, we also test solar cookers with uh, a storage material. For instance, you want to cook at night. You can actually store energy in this pot, then use it to cook at night. And that's what we are doing. So we are basically looking at different designs of solar cookers and trying to improve their performance. And also, one thing that is important, to make this thing cheaper. Currently, this dish is about 1,500 rands, but in South African contexts, it's a bit too expensive. But we have, um, we have a, a will in the near future, or hopefully what we'll have to do is to reduce the cost of this and manufacture it locally so that we can create jobs for the local uh, people in terms of manufacturing of solar cookers and so forth. So that is basically what we are uh, doing today. You can check there. Also the temperature, Katleko, you can check what the temperature is here as we go on. So you can see it is boiling water. It's now 96 degrees. This thing is very hot. Katleko, is it possible that you put it underneath there so that they see? Just be careful that you don't be you don't. So underneath there, you can see that the temperature is also quite hot there. I think that's about one, 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 108 degrees or something there. So that's basically what the solar cooker does. So after we've done the cooking, we can actually take this thing here to continue cooking, putting it in an insulator, a wonder bag, so that, I mean, the energy that is there already will just cook slowly. Like, so what we have, can see there is the wonder bag here. So if we have off sunshine periods now, like there's a cloud there, we can put the cooker down there, then put it in a wonder bag, then seal it. Then the process can continue slowly. Let me just fo defocus this thing. So the process can continue s slowly inside that wonder bag. This wonder bag is very cheap. It's only about 350 rands to 400 rands. And it could be also used at home, like you have cooked your meal there, you want it to keep hot, you put it through here. And this thing can keep up the meal for about three, three to five hours. Around 60, 70 degrees, you can still have uh, the energy. So that's the type of research that we're doing at, at the Solar Thermal Research Group. We want to improve the lives of people, especially in this rural a rural province in, in terms of finding an alternative way to cook without using electricity and the way that is free of charge, free, fro, free, from the, uh, free in terms of the sun that is uh, given <laughs> by God. That's, that, that's, that's what we have here. So that's basically what well, we can do here. As I said before, you can look at that focal region you have to move out to show that that's uh, that's where it is it's very hot and i'll tell you about this solar cooker it cooks anything it can cook beans beans i think it takes about uh two hours or so which is comparable to a stove it can cook pap it can cook meat meats can be cooked in about 30 minutes i mean you have rice rice an hour well it's a it's a bit slower than the normal electrical stove, but the advantage is that you don't have to pay for ESCOM. You don't have to pay for electricity to use it. It's free of charge. The only major investment that you need is to buy the dish. These dishes can be found uh, um, online and they cost about 1,500 Rand. But 1,500 Rand, considering that you're going to use it for the next five to 10 years, it's a very cheap price. If you consider how many um, electrical stove, the two plates you would have damaged within 10 years. So this is a, quite a good uh, uh, investment. But however, as I said before, when there's no sun, it becomes a problem. But that's what we as academic researchers are working on to improve the performance of this so that you can use it during periods when the sun is not available. And that's what uh, my research is focused on mainly on solar cookers and solar food processing.
All right, I thank you.